Rocky Mountain and Raceface join forces. Is it art or is it bike riding? Brandon seminex has got a brand new edit out. And Nino shirt is not getting it all his own way down in South Africa. It's a dirt shed show. Yes, welcome to this week's show. Uh, we've got it all going on and I'm happy to say, look, we've got Doddy back. I'm so happy to be here, guys. Like, yeah. It's been a while, actually. Been pretty busy getting tech going, but it was yeah. so good last week. Were you on the show? GMBN Tech's yeah. been going great. Yeah, yeah I got to uh, get involved, which was great. Yeah. Mitts in the pot up. A We're lot more of that. that. Yes, yeah. definitely, definitely. It was good to see you. Let's get straight into the news. And I'm going to start off with this news. Red Bull are creating a pump track oh, world yeah. championships. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Um, obviously, Pump track has become a bit of a thing, you know. I mean, they're they're popping up all around the world. Uh, it's really recognisable event in its own right. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this World Championship kick off. It's going to uh, have rounds all over the globe, uh, finishing with a finals in Lenzerheide at the World Championships oh, in Switzerland. That's going to be good. Isn't um, it? But it's going to include uh, races at Austria, USA, Latvia. We're going to have some in France, Scotland. There's New Zealand, Philippines, South Africa. It's going to be incredible. You get the pool of all the riders pump tracking it and see who's best. That's going to be good, isn't it? That's good, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but Geordie Lunn has been building this. I can't even describe what this thing is. This oh is just off the God. chain. What is it? So the Vancouver guy, basically a massive free rider. He's built this insane bit of North Shore that goes, by the looks of it, all the way to the top of a tree. Yeah, but we now, don't really know shot. whether he's going to go down it or up it, do we? No, we can't work that out. <laughs> it's, but it's one of the most nuts things. So keep an eye on his Instagram. Also, Brett Tippy's been uh, getting involved with that as well, so yeah. there's definitely going to be something big coming in the next couple of weeks, we reckon. Looking forward to seeing what mm. that is. Um, Brandon Seminex, new video, oh Inertia is out. He's oh. so good. We've spent Still all morning watching it. About all five morning. times, I think. Yeah. It's been incredible. <laughs> um, it's such a good video. Another banger from Brandon Seminex. He is... Uh, Setting a level every time he gets in front of a camera, um, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about that in a little while. Okay, so Rocky Mountain are back in the EWS game. So the Canadian freeride brand, pretty much, they're pretty chilled out. They've hooked up with Raceface. So we've got yes. Rocky Mountain Raceface EWS team. So on that team is Jesse Melamed, Remy Galvin, and ALN. ALN, oh, I can never remember what it stands for. It's Andrian. Lanthia Nadal. That's it. That's or it. near enough. Yes, yeah. yeah, great team. Really good Can't team. Can't wait to see what they get up yeah. to. Um, Matthias Sternerman has, uh, you're not going to believe this, beaten Nino Schurter in oh, a cross country man. race. Nino in a sprint, will not be in happy. In a sprint finish. <laughs> it was at the first round of the South African Cross Country Championship. Um, those guys are over there probably getting ready for the World Cup that's happening there in Stellenbosch in March. Um, also, Cape Epic's happening there as oh, well, of course. Yeah. Um, so that's a great start to the season for, Te for Matthias Sternemann. And uh, a bit, little bit of a dent in the ego of uh, Nino Schurter, but I, that might be a good thing. It might push him on even further. He's just going to go faster than he. You know what he's like. Probably. That guy probably. just wins. Knows that win. Yeah, it's good to make it exciting. Yeah, to, speaking of another winner, so Jenny Rizvet, she's on the smoking wagon at the moment. Well, actually, the anti smoking wagon. So she's Ooh. got this really good propaganda going on. You've got to check it out on her Instagram page where she's basically encouraging the youth of today to not smoke because it's terrible and you shouldn't be doing that if you are. Absolutely. Great campaign uh, mm. and well done for getting involved, Jenny Rizvet. Yeah. Um, right, and we're going to end the news this week by naming our very first. Hero of the War. Oh, it's only one person face. it could be. Look at Liam Stakes, he yeah. can't believe this is happening. Yeah. Hero of the Week, yeah. And go on, Doddy, announce it. Can only be one person this week. You announce it. It's Matthias Sternerman. Has to be. He's Hero of the Week, he beat I'm Nino Schur. You know. <laughs> I mean, it, it sets the standard. It does. It yeah. sets the standard. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a regular thing, Hero of the Week. Um, and Matthias, you are our very first. Congrats. Oh, yes. I need a hero. Uh, okay, let's talk a little bit more. Brandon Seminex new oh. shirt, Inertia. This thing is, I, I don't know how he keeps doing it. He keeps bringing out vids that are essentially riding down a hill. He's essentially riding down a hill, but... A pretty perfectly groomed bit of hill, Yeah, like. it's a very yeah. nice hill, I'll give you that. But it's just captivating, and he gets yeah. into all these really unconventional positions on his bike. Yeah. He, somehow he's bringing old tricks and making them new. He's got a bit of a snowboarding yeah. style going on. Yes. You know, some yeah. of the stuff yeah. he does pretty groovy, just like the old sort of cutting into turns and oh, man, I love so, it. so good I love to watch. It. I mean, it, it really, I, I love these videos. I sent him an email yeah. saying thank you. That's Did how you? Came. Yeah, because I was just like, I watched it, right? And obviously I don't get to ride my bike as much these days as I would have liked, um, but I watched that video and watching it 
feels like bike riding. Now that is not easy to achieve. And yeah. he does it for me every time. Can we just skip the stuff and talk about that massive jump at the end? Oh, he's here's so freewheel again. So, so good. Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's a it must so watch. Good. You really will love it. So after the Dirt Shed show today, make sure you check it out, but That's not yet. First thing you should watch after the yet. show. Yeah. Um, and it's got us thinking about a poll, because mm. we like a poll. We do. Um, who would you like to see an edit from next? Oh, so such a big got, list. We've got a good list of people. I mean, obviously, some of the riders out there are creating brilliant things, but who's going to get you excited about riding like Brandon gets me excited about riding? So uh, we've got a little poll together. Uh, yeah. First option, Danny McCaskill, of course. He's about due for a big banger edit, isn't he? Yeah. He's he got is. to be on the card Yeah, soon. what's going on in the background? When Danny goes quiet, you know what's happening? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Um, Emily Batty. Got to throw that one out there because she had the amazing ambition series. Yes. Done by yes, Liam. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. awesome series that was. Fronting up for the XC crew there. She makes XC Bay, so yes. cool. If you haven't caught up on any of the ambition series, you must check out last series. Yeah. Pretty much documentary format as she follows the whole World Cup season. Like really, really good stuff. Like it. Good show. Yeah. Um, next one we go with the 50 to 1 crew. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I love what those guys are doing. These guys are ludicrously fun. It's kind um, of a mix of old skate videos and mud cows. Yeah, it but really is. But with modern is. day stuff. It really is. Yeah. Um, and it's it's all uh, led by Josh Lewis, um, who's got a bit of a nasty ankle at the moment. Oh, um, I can't think, think you remember. About that. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. floppy, isn't it? But he's got some, he's, he loves a jib. Yeah, he, he does. A jib, little technical well line jibbing. out on the trails. Um, what about uh, Fabio Whip? Huh. Yeah, mean, well. He's you know. a bit of a king of big edits, isn't he? He is, yeah. um, and, and he's creating some serious competition for Danny Mac, which is great, because that's going to push Danny on. They, they, they do have two... a difference, though, don't they? In the yeah, style they of are, edits. I think they're really different. I mean, they, they're coming from that trials background. Um, I think it's fair to say Fabio's maybe a bit more mountain bike in his in his uh, talent pool, because yeah, he's got sure. a really great mountain bike style. Yeah. Um, but obviously, Danny has done some incredible mountain bike videos yeah. like The Ridge, where... He Mind really blowing that is, but he's is, really using those yeah. trial skills in those vids. Yeah, yeah. And of course, Brendan Fairclough. Yeah, I mean, he had he that just had a feature film yeah. out, granted, but you got to follow it up somehow. Yeah. So, Death Grip was what a monster. Coming? Was an absolute monster. See what I did there? Yeah. Uh, an absolute <laughs> monster of a film. Um, but yeah, you can't do hour long edits all the time. So a little short edit from uh, Brendan just to get us into riding this season. I'm thinking he might be, be doing something different as well in his next video. I'd like to see it. Don't know if you follow him on Instagram. He, yeah. he had some interesting stuff in his stories the other day. I think he's going to do an e-bike edit. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon that might be coming. That's what I reckon. And right. if, he, if he does it, it's going to be super cool, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. he doesn't do anything other than be cool. Be right. full moto, that. Let's yeah. see what you guys think in that poll. Let us know who you'd like to see an edit from next. Um, and also, in the comments section down below, please tell us if we've missed someone out. You think, what? You haven't yeah. even mentioned Matt Jones, what are you doing? Or whoever. Um, let us know in the comment section down below. We love hearing from you guys. We read every single comment. Yeah. All of us do. Um, we are too into what you guys have got to say. Yeah. So let us know. Like I said, love hearing what you guys have got to say. So let's jump straight into what you've been saying on the channel this week in the comment section below the videos. Uh, first one, Harvey Casey says, what really chaps my hide is when dog owners leave their brightly colored doggy bags oh, on yeah. the side of the trail. Yeah, this is referring to last week when we were talking I about- I them in trees and all sorts of things. Yeah, something. rubbish yeah. out on the trails. Yeah. I can never work out if they've gone to the trouble to pick it up and put it in a bag. Why haven't they planned to take the bag home? Why would leaving just, a bright blue bag be worse than leaving dog mess on the floor? I yeah, don't know. just throw it out there. Don't use the plastic at all. Just make your dog poo somewhere decent, off the trail, in the bushes. <laughs> yeah, but you can't do that if they've like gone on tarmac or something. You well, can't just leave it. Yeah. You get in trouble there. Well, just train your dog there. differently, surely. Yeah. How old can it be? You haven't got a I've dog, got a dog. Haven't you? No. You haven't got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew you didn't have a dog. Yeah. I'd, I'd like one at some yeah. point. Um, Lime, great show, guys. It looks like Blake's had his ears lowered. <laughs> yes, I noticed that last week. He'd had his hair cut and it actually looked like he'd I had plastic noticed. surgery and his ears had been taken an inch down his head. That's amazing. Maybe yes. Yeah, Yeah, maybe we can just cut back to have a little look at Blake there. Oh, See he what does, I mean? It? Yeah. He does. His ears have dropped. That's really weird. Rich Longhair. Martin, love the EMBN shows. Ying to the dirt sheds. Yang. But you can't have both. Uh, back it up, sunshine. Oh. Right, okay. Well, I appeared on the EMBN show last week. Yeah. Guess what? I've done it again this week. I like it. I like it. I can't help myself. He's also on the tech show as well with me. Yeah, and I yeah. love hanging out with Steve Jones. He's hilarious. Yeah. He's he is, absolutely he is nuts. He's probably funny. He's having that. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to back it up. Sorry, Rich. No, on. I, I don't think you need to, yeah. Um, Guy D4674, uh, um, Jeff Kendall Weed, the rider I want to be but will never be. 
Yeah. Just, he's an amazing rider. Yeah, we featured really him good. on our uh, viewer edits last week. Um, he's a, he's an industry guy. Yeah. He's an industry guy. Yeah, he's been around. He's got a great little vlog going on his uh, YouTube channel. Great rider. But yeah, he's got some style. He's got that style of riding that that I that really appeals to me. A bit of trials elements in there, but yeah. real rolling. Loads of manuals and got a flow. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's no. a great guy. I'm instantly yeah. a big fan. Hopefully we're going to do some stuff with him soon yeah. as well. You pointed so. me towards him, actually. Yeah, he's yeah. a good guy. Um, Cycling T. Holmes said, mm. What happened to Martin during the bike vault? seemed off his game and slightly depressed. Oh, were the bikes that bad? Were the bikes that boring, <laughs> it says. Um, Maybe I, you know what? I, I read that comment. I'll put it in there. I don't want to talk about myself, but I watched it back, right? And I did look really grumpy. Really? Yeah. But you are a grumpy sort of guy. And I love the bike vault. Steady. <laughs> steady, Dolly. Um, he's not. He's the least grumpy person you could possibly imagine. Honestly, I'm sorry about that. I did look off my game and I will try harder this week. Yeah. I will try harder. That'll be fine. It'll be right. good. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for pointing it out. Okay, so next question is from Peanuts. Um, gentlemen, can you contact Nino Scherter to do a progression session about his whips? And then a first try Friday when he finally does a proper one. Oh Ooh. man, that's harsh. Oh, wow, that I think harsh. Nino's whips are cool. Like, Why? Why? I like them. Because they kind of remind me of when, back in the day when we were on XE bikes, yeah. they were way less advanced than what he's riding now. Yeah. And that was about as good as you could get for a table. If, yeah. you're, if you're like a Tomac or someone, I remember a World Cup at Madrid, Tomac did a nice little crossed up sort of kick out. Yeah. More of a kick out cross up than a whip, granted. Yeah. But it looks so cool. Yeah, I mean, it does look kind of cool. It's just yeah. not a whip. That's all whip on. No, no, for it's sure. A whip's a whip. poor like shoulder out style, yeah. isn't it? But, but to be fair, Nino never said it was a whip. No. No, but there we are. But I think they look cool. It's all good fun ribbing the old world champ, yeah. isn't it? You can't and, have it all his own way. And do you know what? Have you ever tried to do one on a bike like that? It's yeah. so hard. Yeah, I can't. You just can't move the bike around in the same way that you would a sort of trail bike. Who am I to slate someone's jumping style? The old buckaroo here. Oh, buckaroo's good though. <laughs> oh my Definitely. God. Right, let's get into progression I call session. You. Yeah. Um, Lewis Deval um, took some hard trashes getting this one going. Oh, Dobby. Let's have a look at this. Um, but I tell you what, perseverance. Um, he re this is really impressive, actually. He yeah. really sticks at this. Poor lad. He's trying to get this double done. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, he went off both sides. Yeah, yeah. A bit blurred on the camera there. Oh, bit keeps a, going. Oh, GMBN t shirt in the back. Bit of a buckaroo there. there. Look, he's getting it. He's coming. Another oh, bucket. Oh. He keeps on going, though. This God, is he's got persistence. He's not giving up. No, that's exactly coming. how you learn. He's coming. Oh, there Look we go. This. Straightening up. Getting it. Here we go. What's this? this er is that's how yes, you do it. Yes. That is a proper progression. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Nice work, Lewis. That was um, rad. Oh, yeah, I do appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Next one, we've got First Try Friday. I think they do all Blake's work. Oh, no. It's Blake's on holiday at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. First Try Friday from Marcus Wakefield. Um, I really like this one, actually. Come on, Marcus. What you I got for I recognise this. is his first try somewhere we've been before. Oh, that looks like Fort Williams Look to me. Look at this. Let's drop off. Look what? at this. Rup. 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 Nice. First try on Fort William Racetrack. Uh, now, how you feel? Because a uh, little flashback here. Down. Off the finish line, drop he goes. What's the time going to be? He does it by 0.3 of a second. Look at the time. Mine Ashton is back. Get that drop off oh, myself mate. once or twice. That was amazing. Actually, twice. Yeah. Actually, twice. Actually, twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, tell you what, now we did say about Blake, where is he, right? Well, yeah. I can tell you what, he's out and funding a first try Friday himself. Check this out. Blake, what are you up to? Oh, yes, Mr. Ashton. I am out in Africa. I'm inside Cape Town. I'm outside it in a place called Stellingbosch. I'm here for Dark Fest. And that's a fest series with massive jumps. And talk about massive jumps. My name is Blake Sampson, and this is my first try Friday. Think about it too much. You yeah, feel that's it. Right, yeah, you yeah. see the lip coming, fine, fine. You'll, you'll work it out. Yep, all right. And then, enjoy. Yeah. It's some serious air time. Yeah. Um, and then, as fast as you can, race jump the next jump as fast as you can, blast the hip, and then you know where you are. Okay, yeah, yeah. Lead. I'm just going to lead uh, Blake in. Okay. Ready, bud? Let's try it. <clears throat> I did it. I'm back in the dark again, but I did do it. All did today, yep. And I was pretty scared, nervous. The biggest jump I've ever done is 90 foot plus. I did go plus, yes, I did over jump. But there you go. Back to you in the studio, Mr. Ashton. 
tech of the week. No better man to help us out um, this week with some tech. Um, so I don't want to like take all of your, um, what do they call it, your Easter eggs that you've got ready for yeah. GMB and tech. But what can we be looking forward oh, to this week? Do you week? know what? There's there's so much stuff on the show. But I think the thing that stands out for me is the new YT Capra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it launched earlier in the week with that crazy goat man video. Yes. But if you've seen that, yeah, it's amazing. pretty... Pretty big budget video. That was, apparently, that was made by like a proper like, Hollywood style film crew. Yeah, yeah, very pro. But the bikes, just wait till you see this thing. This thing is absolutely amazing looking. Yeah, so you're yeah. keeping that kind of, you're keeping that for the GMB. Let's tech, just so. say it blends in really nicely alongside the Jeffsy now. Right. right. The whole bike, there's a bit of synergy going on there, the styling of them, that. Nice. And it's, it's so nice. Lovely. Real high-end sort of finish on that. Right, well, make sure that you do check out GMBN Tech. Doddy's got his show on Monday. It's yeah. ace. Um, I'm actually learning so much watching yeah. that show. Oh, good. Which, which is, bad, I, I've been which around is, a while. Which is good, because when I go on holiday, you're going to be doing the show. <laughs> that would not be a good idea. That would not be a good idea. Might have to do call your homework. It, might have to call the channel something else yeah. that week. <laughs> Hacks and budges, hacks and budges, hacks and budges. budges. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought you weren't going to join me then for a minute. I wasn't going to Oh, I was out on a limb. Oh, I was out on a limb. Oh, it's been a now. while. Oh, I feel good now. I got my Loosen up going. the pipes a bit. <laughs> nice. Right, okay. I'm going to get cracking with hacks and budges this week first with this um, comment from Sean in South, so uh, SoCal, South Carolina, California. California. NorCal, so South Carolina. South Carolina. Where did that come from? I don't you know. You bash your head again. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. He's from SoCal. Um, and he says, could you just define what hacks and bodges means? Because his uh, memory's a bit rusty. He can't remember what a hack is and what a bodge yeah. So a hack is when it's pretty cool. Yeah. Right? Well, basically, you're improving something with yes. a hack. Yes. And a bodge is obviously a disaster. Get it going again a is disaster. a bodge. And yeah. a hack is trying to make something better with um, yeah. unorthodox way of doing things, yeah. I guess. So thanks, yeah. Sean, for that opportunity to explain what Hacks and Bodges is all about. Um, and he also says he likes to sing back to, the, sing back to the screen with us, but he changes the word to chips and salsa, chips and salsa, <laughs> chips and salsa. Because oh, yeah. he's quite often got chips and salsa and a beer on a Friday night when he watches I, The Dirt Shed. I can I see like a chips Sean. and salsa special coming up. Maybe yes, next time. I like yeah. it. Right, should we do Hacks and yes. Bodges real? Yes, so okay. straight in. Martin Duncan with this bad boy. Right, so he's got his giant glory here. What's so different about this? He's only custom painted it himself. Nice. And when job. when he was custom painting, looking for something to hang it. Yeah. Didn't want to hang it in the work stand. You can damage the frame. So put a bit of rubber over an old jack. Yeah. He's got lying around and head tube over the top of that. That, that is, is very good. Pretty good. Simple but effective yeah. resolution. Oh, um, thanks just for come that. In. Just come in, just come in not when we're filming. filming. I tell you what, you can't get the stuff. You really can't. Let's just move on. We get on. quite vicious when people come into the set when we're filming. It happens. Yeah. Right. Next up, we've got this one from Andreas uh, in Germany. Uh, great channel, he says. Um, the photo is a self-made bike computer. If you can see, he's made this little L piece. Fits into his bar mount. Nice, eh? Neat. Yeah, it's pretty neat. neat. Dolly. Yeah. yeah. Bit of cable ties. Yeah. You're right. happy. Yeah, cable ties in the future. Boom. Solve everything. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. I like that one. Nice one, Andreas. So Leon sent this one in. I quite like this one. Warm. It's made a chain guide out of wood. Oh my god. What is would that? it work, do you reckon? I think it would. <laughs> I tell you what, that is minging. I kind of like the organicness of it. Ah, oh, it's horrible, man. It's horrible. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, we kidding. Yeah. You guys uh, have that lost is horrible. It. You yeah. guys have lost it. Yeah. Right, um, now let's move on to the important bit of hacks and bodges. It's time for the art section. New logo. Ooh. Like it. Needs some work, Liam. Needs some work, but it's the art <laughs> section. And we've got this one from Micah. Now look at that. Isn't that lovely? What am I looking at there? Oh, yeah, look bit... at this lovely little chain made, chain, oh, no, chain pile. What's it on though? That's not the art, Doddy. Look, you can use it in many different scenarios. This one, for instance. Bit of a Christmas um, decoration. Well, I like there. the tea light look. holder. I just don't like what it's on. Sorry. Yes, but that's not the art. This is the art. Do you like the way I say art? I really, I feel like tea light holder. You mean? It's a. It's not a tea light holder. It's a candlestick. It's a tea light holder. That's a tea light. It's a great piece it's of a art. It's a tea light Micah. in the UK. I That's love it. I love to see our hacks and bodies art. Keep sending them in. Great job. Catch Jack. Lovely stuff. Lovely no one stuff. has ever caught one before. Oh, that's the first time ever. We put one hands on the ground, Jack. Oh, yeah. Okay. A bit more um, realistic. Yeah. Keep them coming to uh, <laughs> dirtshed at gmbn.com. We want to see your hacks and bodges, your viewer reddits, your progression sessions, your first try Fridays, your bike. Fire them in. Send them all in to dirtshed at gmbn.com. It's just there. You've got no blooming excuse. 
Caption contest time. Um, now, last week I forgot to put a photo in, so sorry about that. But this week's photo is this one. Doddy took it. Check it out. It's Steve yeah. looking, I don't know, what questionable. Like. Yeah. yeah. Let us know in the comment section down below, and it's your chance to win a GMBM bottle next week. Good luck. Um, I'll tell you what, we found out where Blake was, didn't we, earlier on? Now, on holiday. Yeah, yeah. on holiday, yeah. yeah, in South Africa. Yeah. Now, where's Neil? Neil, what are you up to? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm out in the woods today riding my bike. Uh, I'm actually on my Scott Genius. I'm trying a few different components today, see how they feel, see what the clock says, see if there's any time difference. Trails are lovely today. I'm surprised it's not as muddy as I thought it was going to be. It's going to be loads of fun, loads of grip. Uh, not quite big jumps like Blake's hitting, but I'm enjoying myself. Having a great time. Looks good out there, doesn't it? Having a nice ride. Right, let's keep going with the show. Viewer edits. Oh, Here we go. I've um, got bit. this one from James His James Hisker in Canberra. Um, I think we found another star. Oh, it's like that bike park, isn't it? Sometimes it happens on uh, viewer edits that we find great Matt riders. Stromlo's. Now we've got another one here. He's absolutely fantastic. Here he goes. Jimmy Hisker's channel, and this is the rider oh, is actually Aberol. Um, Jane, Jim, James, Jimmy. Oh man, that's a it. wicked trail. Look, an Aberall can really Nice bit of a whip there. Look at that. Right, right, right. Oh man, nice. shorts and t shirts. I forgot what summer's like. <laughs> we're not getting much of that, have we? No, we're not. But it's a great looking trail. Yeah. And a great looking ride. Oh, look at that step down. Some steeds. Right, yeah. Oh, love it. Oh, we've got to watch the watch count on this. So he's at 131 views currently. Yes. Probably another 100,000 on there, I reckon. I reckon we could do 100,000 yeah. on this. 100, I reckon it deserves it. 100 to 200,000. I said, nice. I was going to ride there. It's really fun. Nice little route. Thanks yeah, for sending video, that Jimmy. in, Jimmy. That is a great edit. Um, we have got some really great edits. And obviously, we haven't got time to show them all. But we, I promise, we watch all of your viewer edits. We so do. Please yeah. keep sending them in because we love seeing your riding, where you're riding, what you're doing on your bike. So send them in uh, and we'll take a look. And then we'll pick a lucky uh, video videographer next year, uh, next year, next yeah, week. week. And um, <laughs> someone needs a coffee. Someone's um, been <laughs> and and we will uh, yeah see you on the show next week. Okay, fails and bails. Oh. Bails. <laughs> yes, yeah, straight in. Oh, Love it. Okay, right. First one is from Annie Agarwal, um, and this is a video of Drew uh, Bhutani riding. Um, it sounds like he's being given instruction as he rides the bike, okay. and like he's never ridden a bike before. Oh, right. But he's decided like, to hit a jump. Get on that bike, hit that jump. Hit a jump first Brilliant. go. So, um, what could go wrong? Prepare yourself for this one, Doddy. Don't go as much speed scary. as you can. Don't go on that one. Come on, this one. Go, 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 go. <gasps> oh, okay? duck and cover. <laughs> Let's just watch that again. I hope he's right. That's insane. That's savage. It's like, uh, yeah, you pedal it along, it moves. Right now, hit this jump. <laughs> Look at Let's that freeze frame. That. I'm going to give you that full volume. That is horrendous. Volume. I'm going to give you full volume on this because it's absolutely <laughs> crazy. Here we go. As much speed as you can. Don't go on that one. Come on, this one. Go, 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 go. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't even seen it. Like, are you okay? Funny. Dude, he just completely head plants. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of a friend you... does that to his mate? You're just going hit that jump. <laughs> Did you hear the last line? <laughs> Listen to the last line. I haven't even seen it. Yeah. Listen to the last line. You'll only need your ears, dude. Listen. You okay? Did Dennis tell you to? <laughs> Did Dennis <laughs> tell you to? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, it's too fucking oh. late now. <laughs> Did Dennis tell you to pull the front up? <laughs> well, we're back in the room again now. Right. That was harsh. Isn't it? Wow, sorry about that little delay there. That one took me down big time. That was pretty. In, that was pretty amazing. Okay, next one to give you ever needed to get in the mood yeah. more. Next one is from Tom Strang. Um, <laughs> this one's crashing badly. This one's uh, not oh. nice. He, he holds on to this for quite a long time. A long crash. Um, but he, bad, he does go down hard. But he, he nearly holds on. That's steep, isn't it? I think it's cold and slippy. But he's lost it here, I reckon. And, oh, uh, yeah. oh, he's gone. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that one's not quite so good. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. 
But he held and on to it for a long time. Bit of a thigh bruise on that one, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. He held on to it a long time, though. He did. Um, yeah. Last one, right? I'm, I'm just reeling you in on this one. Yep. Keep okay. Going. Fenner has sent us this. He runs a team called Dirt Riders, um, but he just wanted to refer us to a clip of him crashing that's on their Facebook page. Um, they're definitely worth following. They're in the southeast of England. Um, uh, now, he does go down hard. I just read the comment there. He does go down hard. He hurts himself. Don't worry. He's only winded. But the best thing about a winded injury when you go right on your bike... It right, sounds really funny. Audio. <laughs> it's all about the audio, right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to run you through this one. Hold tight, people. He's out for a lovely ride. Right. For the new line. New line. Let's do it. Anticipation. This is good. Come on, Fenner. We're with you, man. Here he goes. Nice. He's got skills. Oh, yes. yes. Like it. It's a lovely little video, actually. Get some speed up. Are you nervous? Fuck, it's windy. <laughs> He's so I am damn. Now. <laughs> it's windy. Here we go. Gap. Made it. It's still going. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so windy. It's so windy. Probably stop riding then. No, carry on. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> Oh my god. Wait for it. Probably should have stopped. <laughs> it's not funny, lads. It sounds like chewy. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Chewbacca. <laughs> I, sort of feel, I sort of feel like I need to look away. I love his friend there, he goes, don't worry dude, you're just winded. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sounds like you push him on out. <laughs> oh, I have to leave you. Mate, I don't remember this part of the show being this funny. <laughs> Fails and bows. Sorry guys for crazy, laughing, but he's pretty it? funny. Now, yeah, let's just clear it up, right? Yeah. Fenner sent that in to us um, with a big smile on his um, email. He really yeah. wanted us to see it. Um, and he obviously was like, man, this is pretty funny. <laughs> he was fine. He was winded. I have been in that situation, I don't know if you have, yeah. where you just, you're mooing like a cow. Because uh, yeah. you cannot get any air. It's the worst feeling. But if you are a bystander, it, man, it's funny. Because <laughs> you're like, Okay, they're just windy. They're, they're going to be fine. Be fine yeah. I think I'm going to ride this one out. <laughs> Let's see where this one goes. <laughs> Might be able to put a track to it later on. <laughs> Thanks for sending it in. Fails and bows. This week was incredible. Um, I really loved it. Uh, but hopefully next week is better ones that are not quite so comical. Because it makes us No, no. I like the funny ones. They're good. Uh, I don't like the bad ones. Insta bangers and shout outs. I'm going to start by sending you to the Instagram account of the non smoking generation that Jenny Rizvez is supporting. The wicked cause yeah, that is. Great yeah. campaign. So, shirt some love, give them a follow, and all that jazz. Let's make sure nobody's picking up them cigarettes because it's just stupid. Yeah, 100%. Don't yeah, know why anyone does it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give you a shout out to actually, it's a pretty cool film featuring Matt Hunter. And this was one of the films in the Madeira Film Festival, and it's made by Bryn North. So you've got to check this out. It's a really, really cool video. And of course, Matt Hunter, easy guy to watch on a bike. Yeah, so lovely. Don't stuff. need an excuse to watch this. Lovely stuff. Right, the links to those things are in the description down below the video. Make sure you watch them. Yeah, make sure you check them out. Let's get straight into old Bike Vault, oh. shall we? Into the bike vault. First bike oh, is uh, it's from BH. It's an intense in Hidden Vale, Queensland, Australia. Mate, that is doing everything for me. Oh, Pedals nice. are right. It's got nice fabric cageless bottles on that look as at well. That. Look at that. It's a plane oh. and oh, so great. Uh, I'm I'm going super nice super all the way. Nice. Straight in. Super nice. oh, oh, yes. That was a good start. What have we got next? Oh, that's, that's nice. A, that's a great shot. What is that? Is that a giant? That is from Callum yeah. Shield. I'm not sure where that is. Looks like it could be somewhere exotic. Somewhere very dark. Yeah. That's a nice shot. Um, I, think it's a, I can't find much wrong with it. It's I, super nice. All right, it's a super nice. Super Ooh. nice. Yeah, I used to have one of them actually. Right, next one. Oh, it's Yeti. Sorry, super nice. Chris Anderson. Yeah. Yeah, he's just do it. Super nice. It's a lovely all the shot. Way. Well, it's yeah. a lovely shot. Great. That's three in That's a row. That's an alternative angle as well. I do like that. There's, you never can still been, see it. there's never been four super nices in a row. Just saying. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, Hang on a minute. Oh, a Clive dog. Wilson in Munich. There's a dog. And a giraffe. 
<laughs> Amazing. Now, either the giraffe... That's attention-seeking. ...or the dog isn't real. One of the two. A dog's not real. That dog's yeah, not yeah. real. That's not a real dog. You'd never see a dog that close to a giraffe. I think just for sheer effort. Super nice. This is super nice. Yeah. <laughs> like it. Whoa, wow. Whoa. What's that? That's like Kotick. That. That's nice. Kotick beefy or something. Dave Headley in Nanta Ariane in Wales. Hmm. That's nice. That's near uh, the Afton's base up that way, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I. What are you saying? I. I, I, I love really, a hardtail. I, really flipping I love think it. that's nice. I'm saying it's super nice. Oh, again. Well, it is. I, I don't make the order, man. I don't make the order. Kev see, Davies. That is nice, but I would prefer to see it from the drive side myself. Whoa, and the run is Just broken. throwing it out there. And the run of super nice is Because he's got the pedals right. He, oh, oh, looks good. I could sort of feel like Kev think, oh, I'm never going to get the six super nice on a trot. Oh. oh, good try, Kev. It's nice, though. It is a really nice bike. Oh, oh, yeah. Look, that's look, nice. Luke Wanden. Into that, Norco range. Yeah. Pretty I'd say that's, bike. that's nice. Pedal nice. should have been three o'clock the other way round. Yeah. Well, what if he's left foot forwards? Good point. You can't be horrible about these things. Super nice. Yeah, super, super nice. nice. <laughs> Ooh, Liam wasn't ready to yawn then. Did you oh. see that? Okay, next up, we've got Matt Miller. Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Yes. Nice. It's not in that classic Yeti colour, though. It is nice, but I think you've got to have Yeti blue. Yeah. Nice, just... Now, see, I'd have called it Yeti Green. Oh, what no. is it? Yeti Blue or Yeti Green? I think, I think it's, it's a blue. I think, I think it's, it's blue. a blue. I think it's a blue. But but it's a Yeti, and on principle, it technically, it should be a super nice, I think. It's super nice. It's super nice. <laughs> wow, that's quite a horror. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, I like this shot. Oh, that's well arty. Nice now, reflection there. Doddy, you're going to like this bike, right? Because yeah. I happen to know Max M's bike, right, that yeah. he's got here in this Stromlo Forest Park is an extra, extra, extra large. Oh, one for the big boys out there. Yes. Yes, it looks like it's a 26-inch wheel bike from a distance. Yeah, that's 29, not. isn't it? <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, that's huge. It's absolutely huge. Oh, it's, it's nice. Oh, come on. All right, it's super nice. It's super nice. We're we going all out on the super nices this super week. Super nice. Now, if that leaf wasn't there... See that leaf? I quite like the leaf. Maybe the leaf is falling. <laughs> that leaf. Narrow it down, mine. <laughs> I think that is from Thomas Quick in a leafy trail in Krakow. Oh, cool. Wow. Where's that, Poland? Uh, yeah. I would say that is... Nice! It's nice. It's nice. We're out, oh, of, we're out of the bike already. Oh, man, they're shorter than I remember. They are. So many bikes to look at. Great horn action this week. Yeah, it was, especially good, yeah. God, I, like, that, I like the no-handed horn. That horn it's guy good. is good. Yeah, um, thanks for sending your bikes in. Um, keep them coming. We love seeing them. We look as many as we can, and we put in as many as we can. Oh, yeah. Um, try and get your super nice. Who knows? It could be you next week. No, that was terrible acting. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with a jacket? You cold? It's, it's not cold, actually. I'm just showing off one of our. It is really nice. To our be fair. great jackets that is available in the GMBN shop. Um, you can all look like us. You know what? It doesn't hurt to support us if you're enjoying what we're making. So the shop's a great way of doing that. But, but if you don't want to have the big expensive jacket, you can do the long sleeve T-shirt. So I love this. It's a blackout one with reflective detailing. Yeah, that's also did that in short sleeve as well, actually. Yeah, and that comes out really bright. I'm all about the long sleeve. I've been wearing mine these a week. Yeah, so make sure you support us in the shop. All of the stuff's available, you see, with the GMBM branding on. So, yeah, head on into there. Right, now, just time to take a look at last week's poll oh, results. Yes, the poll. Um, if you remember, we were talking about what do you do if you see someone leaving trash or rubbish out on the trail. Yeah. Um, results are 10% said make them wear it. Yeah, which was I'd, your go, suggestion. I'd go with that. Yeah. yeah, call them out, 59%. 100%, yeah, yeah. you've got to do yeah, that. Well, 59%, not 100%. But. Yeah, 59 yeah. <laughs> percent Yeah, pick it up, 19%. Yeah, very good. That's do good. the honourable thing, take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That Someone was Blake's angle. It. Just pick it up and take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and last one, 10% again, uh, trash his bike. Oh, oh, that's a bit violent, that one. That is a bit violent. How do you yeah. know it's someone that had a bike that did the littering? That's true. Might have been a, might a, have been a dog walker with the older poo yeah. bags. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been. Thanks for getting we, involved with the poll. pick them up. No, don't leave them where no. they are. No, don't. Pick them up. Pick it all up. Just don't take it home. It's just warm stuff. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Coming up on the channel this week, make sure you don't miss, on Saturday, Blake Sampson's Darkfest Day. Oh, that's oh, his holiday. God. You want to, don't want to miss yeah, out on that. Yeah, anything else to be? <laughs> 
Um, yeah, it's a really good sort of XC full sauce versus hardtail video. Oh, nice. Right. Love yeah. those. Love those. So they're coming up this week. Uh, make sure you watch some of our other videos. I've got a great one here that I did the other day. Uh, our, fi our five favourite bike parks in the whole world. Oh, yeah. And if you want to start racing, in particular enduro, have a look at this video. Loads of handy tips here, some calendar ideas and how to train, all that sort of stuff. Great stuff. Mm. Um, hit the globe to subscribe. Give us a thumbs oh, up, yes. like, get involved in the comments, and we'll see you next week. See you next week, guys.